show is about a man who wants to be king and will do anything, kill anyone he needs to, deceive anyone he needs to. An ego that becomes monstrous and what happens in that situation to a society, to a community. It's this brilliant kind of game of chess, you know, in terms of all of that political intrigue. It resonates now more than, more than any other Shakespeare play. A look at humanity at its most brutal and almost animalistic fight for survival. He's capable of extreme violence. He's also um, capable of being very funny, very charming, and he's a great warrior as well, and in, in real life he's the last king to be killed on the battlefield. He's just got a slithery physicality that's uh, quite alluring. Incredible speed of thought and ultimately very sympathetic. We're in a way lightening the play, we're not burdening ourselves. That's the most exciting opportunity for us, I think, is that people come having this received notion of what Richard III is and that actually you smash all of those expectations because yeah. you're putting somebody on stage in front of them who is a completely um, rounded human being, somebody who is deeply unlovable at times, but is also capable of these great moments of poetry and feeling. What they can expect, I think, is a depiction of extraordinary lives at an extraordinary time in history. A real human being who wants to find love within himself. It's going to be quite thrilling to watch. There will be shock. Yeah, I have been shocked. <laughs> it's a vicious, nasty play, but it's also savagely funny. It will be quite dark at times, so if that's your thing, then it's great.